What up, guys? How's it How's going? It? It's uh, me, Fizz, and Nick. We're going to do a set review of Plasma Freeze, card by card. That means the littlest card will get a review. Yeah. All right. Let's start off, let's start off with Weedle. Weedle. Uh, let's see. Uh, he's got triple stab. He's That's... got a nice 50 HP. Which so, is horrible. Um... He can tank. He can tank uh, Landorus for a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but he can't because of like Verbeg like, Jim. Uh, you can't be a pessimist though. They're not going to get it every time. He can't <laughs> deal with Tornadus. Yeah, that's, or that's or true. Mewtwo with Verbeg Jim. Horrible. I, Fifty I HP. I, bad. I kind of wish that flying was a type in the card game. Sure. Yeah. Like, I get that all of them are pretty much flying normal anyway. Yeah. But it just feels like there could be more things done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, however, like how he's, like, in a, in a tundra area that is also, like, a forest. It's like frozen, frozen grass because, you yeah. know, Plasma Freeze is all... Oh. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Let's well, move on. Well, if you on. play black two, white two, like, Team Plasma freezes, like, the entire world. And yeah, just, like, they do. And ice everywhere. Just yeah. for no reason. Just, like, you don't need refrigerators no anymore because everything's frozen. So they're they're really cutting down on energy costs, and I think they're the good guys in the show, in, in the game. Okay. <laughs> Kakuna? Matata? Kakuna. Rotata. Kakuna. Rotata. Um... um yeah, Horrible. I think we should probably skip to the cards that will actually um, <laughs> Can we just matter outside of our look, pre-release. Look, Kakuna's horrible. Art, everything's horrible. Well, Beedrill? it just looks like a Kakuna. It's, it's like the art is fine. It's just there. It's like it doesn't pop out at you like Executor does or something. Or like yeah. like Execute is like one of like the middle ones is just like, I just took a mean poo. The one on the bottom, right, <laughs> the one on the bottom right is like you just took a mean poo, like, <laughs> and then the other ones are all like reacting. They're just kind of just getting it. The one on yeah. like the bottom right is like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then the one on the top left is like, oh god, not and this again. <laughs> the bottom one on the left is like, oh, there it goes. And then the the one on the top is like, is the poo? Like, yeah, he, got, um, he, he straight up pooed in his head. Yeah, it's it's uh there. It's there. Yeah. Uh, uh but it does have an ability. Yeah. Um yeah. if it's put into your You pronounce that ability. Pronounce that shit. Uh propagation. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh once yeah, so I mean it's a thing. Okay. Uh <laughs> m- more often than not, if you if you're going to discard something, you probably want it to be energy for those eels or Something of that nature. Well, there's there's a card that goes with execute fairly well. We'll talk about it later. But um, yeah, if he's but in your discard pile, you can put him in your hand. Yeah, it, so it, it's so it takes up a deck slot, but uh, it's there. It's 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 gonna be a part of a newbie deck that people are gonna think is really good, but it's not that yeah. good. So um, and and next to gutter is is just he's not even important. He's just stupid. Yeah. Um, all right, the, the overall best uh, card in the set, Trico. Um, <laughs> I like how he's kind of surfing down this tree. He's. It, it kind of looks like he's like surfing on like a huge thing of corn, but it's actually a tree. Like, it's like a it's like a snake tree. IMO. Yeah. It's like a tree made but of it snakes. Has that, it's so uh, badass. Huge, it has that huge sixty HP, so it's still gonna get dunked. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, you much. need you need to be a Sableye or better to not. <laughs> Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Um, uh, I, can we just skip to like the relevant cards? Re- okay. Or the seemingly relevant but actually bad. And I'm looking so at you. Cacnea. <laughs> I was looking at Heatran. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, yeah, the EVs are pretty bad. Um, okay, let's go to Heatran EX here. <laughs> Which looks badass as fuck. It looks really cool. I but think as we that... all know, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you know what the unfortunate thing in the world is, is um, you can't really take advantage of Heat Boiler 
since um you you don't control special conditions. Like and there, I don't, uh, I can't think of anything that would put a special condition on Heatran, except for a long distance hypnosis from Muna, but or, he can't like, attack if he's asleep. They're not going to <laughs> intentionally laser your Heatran if you're going to be doing 120. Yeah. But the thing is, if you have it there, it's either just going to be soaking up attacks and eventually die and they're going to be saving their lasers, or they're going to say, well, whatever, let's just laser it. <coughs> so, I don't know. It, it's kind of one of those things that it could be used as like a soft counter to laser, but it's just not very good. It's horrible. It's <laughs> I don't want to say horrible, but it's not good at all. It, it um, makes you consider Cresselia EX as an alternative, and that's that should never be a thing. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, Heatran is just kind of like, I mean, the cool thing is, like, it's two energy, and you could possibly do 120 for it, um, and then, you know, Dynamite Press is not very good either. I, I mean, you, you have to remember that there's an incredible amount of acceleration in this format now, um, yeah. due to, you know, Chorus Machines, Plasma Balls, and all that stuff, so the energy really isn't as much of a factor as it has been. Yeah. But even even then, it just there's not enough damage output to uh, to warrant giving your opponent two prizes and accomplishing nothing with, with <laughs> it. You th I could accomplish something with Heatran. Yeah. Stand the then, fuck back, okay? And then your opponent's basic green deck is just going to be like, hey, Look. you won, congrats. Look, you heat boiler for like you know sixty, whatever. And then you dynamite press for one forty. Boom! Does two hundred damage. He's dead. Okay. Yeah. That's also, awesome. It's, it's all, also weak to water. So what? Okay. <laughs> People yeah. run who run Blastoise are running heavy like Black Kiram anyways. Bla Blastoise is dead. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. It's not actually dead, but it could be. It just depends on whether I or think, not. People... I think Shandalore de deserves some respect, though. I, it's the next card in the list. We should go over and. Uh, I'm look... looking at it right now. It, look, it right. looks all sick. Um, so Flame like... Navigate, man. It's it's like Afterburner, but way better. <sighs> was Afterburner once per turn? Yeah. But it was from okay. your discard, not yeah, yeah, from yeah. your deck. Uh, which means like super, you could run like a super rod engine and it would be so good. Yeah. Um, what was it? Oh, I was gonna say something. I don't know. You can keep going though. You suck at life. Look, yeah. Chandelure Heatran, man. That's the new shit. But not uh, really. Though. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> not think really that's... at all though. But if you wanted to go like Chandelure with like Reshiram, like yeah. Resh. Like Reshi EX could probably be better, a lot better yeah. than than Heatran. And I know you're disagreeing with me just because you want to use Heatran. I am disagreeing with you because Reshi Reshi Ram EX is horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I I tried to make it work. Uh, before before Heart Gold Soul Silver rotated, it was bad. It was but really the thing bad. is that Chandelure, uh, can I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about it. Well, it's good. It it can accelerate. <laughs> it can accelerate well, and uh, that's that's all you really need to know. Oh, it's good. Okay, moving yeah. on. I suppose. Uh... Well, the thing is, evolutions <laughs> are going to be hard to use in general in this format. Sure, They're it's going to be bizarre, but that doesn't mean cabal like uh, clang clang wasn't a thing and like yeah, okay. blastoise clang clang. All right, it's this format's just going to be so fast now. Just yeah, people that's... are gonna be playing plasma basics and stuff. Yeah, we we could talk about uh, pretty much nothing in the water section is good yeah. except oh, well, for Kiram. actually, Kiram is amazing. It it is okay. It is so unreal. I've done testing with Kiram. It's unreal. All right, so basically, you get uh, Landorus in your in your Kiram. Pretty much, and then and then and then it KOs Landorus. So 
It KOs a lot of stuff, honestly. Fuck you, Landorus. Fuck um, you very much. <laughs> if you're Frostbearing <laughs> turn one, you get the 30-30, uh, because if you get water, then Chorus Machine. Yeah. Uh, and then you attach again for Blizzard Burn for 120. That's 150, and if you drop a laser, that's 180, man. Um, and then if you're playing, uh, 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 if you have Deoxys on your bench, you probably you don't even need laser. You can just I... one-shot EXs. Yeah, when we get to Deoxys, we'll talk, we'll talk more about it. Yeah, but, uh, obviously. But yeah, oh, things need obvious. to be said about Kyrim. Uh, like, and the fact that it can't attack next turn is not even a problem. Uh, there's just, you could fucking dark ride, retreat, do whatever the hell you want. You could just play a Switch. Switch, Float there. Stone. Float, float stone, stone is amazing. I think you're going to... It doesn't exactly replace Switch, but you will need to play them, like, hand-in-hand. Hand. You need both. You really yeah. do. Because um, it uses your retreat for the turn, so... Yeah. Yeah. I wish Electrode was better. Am I right? Uh, the first thing I said with Electrode was, Whoa, that looks like the base set Electrode from, like, the art. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. And uh, then I was like, oh, it's a bicycle. Pretty much, yeah. It's really sad. If it were six, it could totally it, be usable. Okay. It's stage one. Um, if it were Magnazone. six, it'd be Magnazone Prime. Yeah. Which Magnazone Prime would be. It would really be better good. than Magnazone Prime. It'd be a lot better than Magnazone Prime, except the fact that it couldn't like KO everything in the format with like whenever. Yeah. Well, whatever. But that's not even the problem. <laughs> yeah. Because most of the time, Magnazone was like the the last resort attacker. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I I don't think if it were the, six, it'd be playable. It's not playable at four. Right. Even if it were five, you could think about it. But just four is four is like the number that you'll only hit in decks like Darkrai, and Darkrai needs the bench. Yeah. So and needs it needs space for other stuff now too. Yeah, well, good. newer, better, awesome stuff. All right, uh, I just want to pause okay. and say Patch Yurizu looks like a fucking badass. Dude, that was the first card. I, <laughs> I, just, like, I did a quick scroll. I do every time there's a new scan, new scans out. I do a quick scroll, and whatever my eye goes to first, I just like, that's the best card, and it was Patch Yurizu for me. Yeah. And uh, it's not the worst card in the set. So... Uh, it's got the magic 70 HP, so uh, there, uh, there's that's, that. That's good, I guess. It but grabs it's, you it's energy, e which is okay. It's, it's bad. E it's a bad card. I need to rewind <laughs> to water stuff, by the way. I just realized Vanillix. To be skip a guy? Vanillix. Oh my god, it's the Chill Max. Is that not the coolest <laughs> attack name for now? Yeah. Flip a coin <laughs> for each energy attached to this Pokemon, and it does 60 times the number of heads. That's badass. That's super badass, yeah. but it's a stage two. Yeah, and it's flipping. And I but just it's cool. don't think. All right, and it only has 130 HP, which is bad too. Okay, since we're <laughs> since we're on thunderous now, we may as well get to it. Okay, <laughs> so uh, thunderous here. I like. I think that thunderous is going to be the secret best card. In it's the set. Not, it's not much of a secret, but Shut up. okay. I like that they named it Raiden Knuckles. So now every time I I <laughs> okay. use it, I think of Raiden, Raiden from Mortal Kombat. And then you have to press backpack <laughs> forward like all the time. Yeah, it's just it. Uh, the name so is the attack. The attack's name is backpack forward. <laughs> Everybody knows it. It's there. Okay. Um, Let's go over the tax, man. So Raiden right. Knuckle, um, it does thirty for one lightning. And you attach a, uh, an energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench okay. Pokemon. Notice bench it says team plasma an Pokemon. energy card. It means special energy can be attached from your discard to anything. Which to any plasma retarded. Pokemon. And by retarded, I mean really good. Yeah, it's it's stupid good. Okay, so we're, we're already doing 30 for one, which is good, because uh, that with laser and Deoxys are going to just... Yeah, it's this is why really evolution... easy to get a lot of Deoxys on your bench, so you could potentially be doing this 70 damage for one. This is why evolution is energy. not going to be a thing, because basics and stage ones and stuff 
aren't going to be able to take the damage. You have to play like high HP basics in order to do anything. Sad. And with Plasma Ball and uh, Colorist Machine, you're just you're you can't slow it down. Yeah. So this is why I'm thinking that we're gonna see a, a any kind of evolutions that we have been seeing aren't going to be around for for a while. Yeah, it uh this has major donk potential. Yeah. Like super uh, super much. Um it's really easy to get laser, it's really easy to put deoxys on your bench. Um so Raiden Knuckle is just so OP. Um Conversely, people have been talking about Plasma Badge, which we'll get to later, and you could like put it on Landorus, and you can kind of get the same effect. Uh, it doesn't accelerate energy, but it's still cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's based on your deck that you have to waste on Plasma Badge and then get Plasma Badge. Um, mm -hmm. Moving on, though. Yeah? I just think Thunder is just stupid good. It is. And... It's very good. Uh, it looks really freaking good too. The artwork is just awesome. It does. He's just like ripping right through there, coming for your butthole. Coming for your butthole. That's more than one, one way of weirdness. Okay. Uh, I want to see where you go, and I want to see if it's the thing that I have up right now on my screen. You okay? It's. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm looking at Mr. Mime at the moment. Yeah. Yes! Woo! Okay. Mr. Mime, bench uh, barrier. Okay, we're gonna get around the fact that uh, Mr. Mime just looks badass with his like super protect shield of awesome. Dude, he looks like who does he look like? He looks he, like Jean Grey right now. Right? Or like <laughs> like uh, what the hell is that one woman? Susan Storm. Yeah, she looks like yeah. uh, the Invisible Woman. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, with a name so simple, it's easy to forget. Yeah. <laughs> really. That's <laughs> exactly. not a joke. It's like, yeah. Uh, so bench barrier is the thing. It prevents all damage done to your bench Pokemon, which is nice. Which is very common in this uh, in this world of Darkrai and Landorus and Thunderous. Yeah. Not Thunderous, Kyurem that we have going on. Yeah, it kind of, like, it, it chills out Kyurem a bit, which is nice. However, uh, is it worth the bench space? Uh, I don't see why it couldn't be if I your th deck I think is in a some, bad ma yeah. If your deck is a bad matchup to um, like Darkrai or something, I don't see why it couldn't be. Yeah, um, it, but I if, think if you could maybe can... find space for it, but it's gonna be hard. If your deck is like. 60 40 in your favor against dark right i wouldn't play it but if it's like 40 60 i think i might and if that's like uh, your only problem then yeah like nobody plays siglyph anymore so that's not like they don't run that for protection against dark right yeah uh so it's a possibility um it you could find this in eels you you really could um, yeah. it's, it's hard to give up the bench space to mime because you, it's the bench space in eels is so important, but is, it's, uh, it's uh, good. It definitely deserves testing. Even as like an easy KO for your opponent, like say they catch or KO it and yeah. it brings it to like three or five or whatever, odd prizes don't really matter due to the EXs anyway. Yeah. Now you just made them play a seven prize game. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I've been like dying for a good Metagross. It's just it's so hard for stage twos to be good. Like they yeah. have to be really good in order to be playable. The I mean the attack the uh, the ability is good. Uh, search your deck for a team plasma card and put it in your hand. Um, but I mean it's not like super good. It's yeah, at the just. At that point, you could have played, like, two or three item cards in the same amount of space that you use in your deck to get the cards you needed anyway. Exactly. So, uh, I know th there's a trend with Sableye where they make a really good one, and then a really shitty one, and then a really good one, and a really shitty one. This one's and... really, really bad. Yeah, this is the really bad This one. is the worst Sableye of all time. But, like... 
worst been... Sableye <laughs> of all there time. There have been really good Sableyes that have just, like, yeah. made formats. So. Yeah. It's, it's nice to uh, have that little guy doing things. Did we really need more Cafagagus? Cafagra guy? I, I, you're skipping over Deoxys, man. I know. I, I just, it's, it's, <laughs> there's, there's two of them in this set. There are. There are also two Yamasks. Like, is there a, like, a necessity of this many? I don't, even, I don't even know. Like, even Pikachu doesn't have this many cards. All right, let's get to Deoxys. Okay, can't, yeah. All right, Power Connect. Your team Plasma Pokemon's attacks do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon. Um, so, you just put a plus power on your bench for every Plasma Pokemon you have. Also, Except it's stackable. <laughs> what? Except for Deoxys EX. That's the only problem I have with it is that it does not boost its own attack. Oh, that's not that big of a deal, though. Yeah. Uh, mo more often than not, you're going to go through games where you just don't even attack with Deoxys. And it can uh, definitely come in and uh, revenge Mewtwo's. Uh, yeah. yeah, get easily. off hundred. Can get off like 100 damage on Darkrai. Yeah, it's uh, really easy uh, to get 90 damage off. Um, it's, you know, it's good. Uh, Helix so, Force, it does 30 plus 30 damage for each energy attached to your... And again, if they want to catch or KO it, fine, because they just ignored your main attacker for a support, yeah. and you still have your main attacker. Right. It, uh, the only thing I, I didn't like about it, but it's good that it has it, because it would kind of balance it out a little, is the reshoot cost is two. I just I, I just assumed, like, before I was testing it, that it only had that one. That would be one. Because yeah, Deoxys so I was in the middle of a game, like, why would you even bother capturing Deoxys? I'll just attach her. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, like, I could see Floatstone, there being two, like, Floatstones in, like, a lot of decks. Especially with the X's being generally heavy in, with the in tree. In the deck I was playing, it was two Floatstone, three Switch. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, like, Floatstone with uh, Keldeo yeah. is just really good. Exactly. Uh, rush in and then just retreat automatically is amazing. Uh, the next card... We can totally disregard the whole, like, fighting section. Yeah. Uh, actually, we can look at, um, Absol. Uh, because... one back, one back, one back. One back? You want to look at Weavile? Yes. And I will okay. tell you why. Remember when I said exe execute could be a yeah. thing? Look at Weavile's second attack. Vilify. Oh, man. Discard okay. as many Pokemon as you like from your hand. This attack does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon, and you're discarded. Now, you could potentially do a whopping 120 with just uh, discarding a uh, the executes, and their ability gets them right back into your hand. Okay, 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 okay. I see where that's cute and stuff. Yeah, it's it's totally impractical. I know. If if collector was still around, maybe I would I would go for it. Sure. But um, it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's a deck that people are talking about, but it's mostly like newbie type people who are like oh hey that's gonna be really cool i'm gonna stream 120 at least i mean you could potentially discard more i yeah. mean you get yeah just play a lot of balls i guess there you go you cannot go wrong <laughs> with a lot of balls you cannot go wrong with a lot of balls ever okay we can talk about Alpsol now well i, I just want to say this is probably the first time that there has been a weavile card that's better than the sneasel card Sneasel's always been better. <laughs> You're so right. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Absol. Uh, at, at first, it doesn't look like much, but uh, I'm thinking with the eels and Deoxys and stuff, you're going to see a lot of benches that are full. Yep. And it's compatible with uh, Colorless Machine, Dark Patch, Dark Claw. And uh, it can be powered up by your own Deoxys. So I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, Mine Jack does 20 plus 20 damage for each opponent's uh, bench Pokemon. So you could do 120 to the active. Mm -hmm. So that's solid. And then you, you uh, if you have a Dark Claw attached, that's 150. 
and you drop a laser down, that's a knockout on an EX. There you uh, go. In a perfect world. Uh, in it, a perfect world. But <laughs> it's a good card. Know... It's a great card, actually, and um, it gives you another. It gives you another attacker in Darkrai. Um, a non EX attacker, which is great, so you kind of stagger the prizes a little bit, mm -hmm. make them play the seven card game, or you know make them knock out multiple, only take one prize at a time. That's horrible. That's there just, you go. Yeah. Uh, also, it it hits 100 HP, which is kind of nice. Um, like usually things are like anything below like 150 or above 150, but. Uh, I mean, it, it's not like you, they can just go for the like first attack and then laser and you're dead. Yeah, uh, it's it's a it's an okay number. It's uh, 90 HP is pretty weak. 100 is okay. Just uh, like think, like a couple years ago, like 100 HP was like ridiculous, and 130 with the dragons are just like broken. Yeah. So I mean, you wish Absol was at least 120, but I mean, you'll take him at 100. It's pretty good still. Yeah. Uh. What's like the next thing that we could even talk about? The fact that Mawile has the the coolest attack name in the history of everything. It's Big, big old, old bite. bite. <laughs> big old bite. Yeah, it's pretty sad though because it's horrible. Yeah. Um, we, Steelix. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just stop. All right. Uh, Kingdra. Like, it could have been good though. It could have been good. It could have been good. But it's if not. if it were four, maybe instead of five for heavy impact, because he's a hundred and fifty HP stage one. Yeah. Could have been good. You could have, but you're not. <laughs> no, he's not it's just over, so it's... much energy for no damage. Like you see things like Mewtwo just doing like. A billion damage for two energy, and you just uh, five for a hundred. Yeah, um, and, and that's and it's also metal energy, and that's just silly. Meh. Uh, Kingdra, Kingdra's pretty cool. Dragonite has item lock. <laughs> <laughs> for three colorless, it does sixty damage, and the your opponent can't play item cards from their hand during the next turn. And hilariously, it's not even a plasma. Yeah. So, <laughs> so no acceleration there, friends. I do like Kingdra, uh, though. I like how Dratini has shed skin. Just be like, lol, lol, lol. Uh, we yeah. don't hear status, though. Well, that's Dragon Air. I, just, Dragon I would think too. that shed skin would, would get rid of the, with yeah. the status. Kingdra, Kingdra is pretty cool. Yeah, I like Kingdra. 20 damage times the number of water energy cards and electric energy cards in your discard pile. Then shuffle all those cards back into your deck. Pretty there solid, man. Just... What do you think? One zero one in Blastoise? Let's go. Do it. I and can't I... even fathom... Like, Just looking at stage 2s with 140 HP pisses me off because you get all these basics with like double the HP and it's just stupid. Yeah. Uh, also has Tri Bullet, which is thirty damage to three of your Pokemon for one energy. That's kind of cool too. Yeah, but Kingdra just gets completely invalid with Mister Mime. So ha. Yeah. No. <laughs> which everyone is clearly going to play. Yeah, just it's just too good, man. It's too good. All right, Ladius. It is. You wish it was good. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try to let's try to justify Latias for. Okay, let's go. All right. It, instead of 170 or 180 HP, has 160. Bummer. <laughs> I couldn't even just laugh. Oh <laughs> fucking. Laugh. Okay, it has the ability Bright Down, which is cool. It prevents all uh, effects of attacks, including damage, from Pokemon with abilities. But not Rayquaza. Because Rayquaza doesn't have an ability. Exactly. Uh, Darkrai has an ability. Deoxys has an ability. Keldeo has an ability. Uh, Darkrai, Lugia, Deoxys, Keldeo, Ho-Oh, Mew, Ninetales, Buffalant, Kling Clang, Empoleon. Sure. I think that's There's a lot of stuff. It, that's pretty much it, anything relevant. It would have been cool uh, maybe a couple sets ago. Uh, yeah. And then a barrier break. This te it's uh, it's shred basically. So it does okay. seventy damage straight across, so which is bad. Why wouldn't you just let it do ninety at least? Okay. Why? 
You tell I me don't why. Even, maybe because it would it can't to hit KO the other Latias. It, it can't. It really it falls too short. You need a plus power. You need you. It's not a plasma Pokemon either. Fuck you. What is this? Ah. Okay, so, and then uh, the attack cost is fire, psychic, uh, colorless, which... It, 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 it costs an arm and a leg, that's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Uh, it it could have so, literally been one colorless for barrier break, and it would still actually be really fucking good, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any deck, one, one energy for 70? Okay. This is why we need dragon energy. Come on. I don't think so. No? No. No? I'm an advocate for not dragon energy. I think that's bad. I like the way I like everything. the system that they've made. Yeah, it complicates everything. But they mix the weirdest damn types, like grass and electric for Dragonite. Like, what is this? I don't, that's always been like that. Though. Like, like water and fire. I I I get. Sure. But like, it's weird. I don't know. Okay. Uh. So and then there's Latios. Oh my god. Yo, yo, let's justify him. At least he has 170 HP. That's nice. Um, you want to justify Latios, you can fuck off and die on a bridge. Alright, look, you can you can put him <laughs> it's in It's so bad. Alright, let's 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 look at it. It's... Mock flight for forty. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. That's okay. Luster purge for one fifty, discard all energy attack to this Pokemon. Look, you're just playing in Blastoise. Good game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's... At least it has a legitimate attack. Okay. It has a legitimate attack. Thank you. I mean, it's no Black Hiram. I mean, like, clearly that's way better. If you're playing this card, don't. <laughs> that's the... <laughs> like... Okay. Uh, that's I... the... <laughs> Go ahead. It's just so bad. It... Better or worse than Latias? Worse. Okay. I think the like, very next... Oh, wait, what? I, I, like, some, there, there, there will be a day when I'm just like, hey, let's throw Latias in this deck for the hell of it. There will never be a day with Latias. For, never. Wow. Strong words. Never. Strong words. Getting back together. And we. Okay. Okay. Very next card on the list. Ratatata. Oh my god, 40 HP! This is not a fucking game. You yes. think this is a fucking game? Arf, arf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Like Tim Allen. You have to do the Tim Allen man grunt. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. That's 40 HP. That's all. Oh, this the mo Okay, we're done there. Radicate though. The new one. Eight. Are you serious? Put a Team Plasma Pokemon, a Team Plasma Trainer card, and a Team Plasma Energy card from your discard pile into your hand. It'd be really cool if that was a basic. Yeah. It'd be really fucking good if it was a basic. Yeah. Like, can we get, like, Radicate SP going? There you go. Like, Super Plasma? Uh, um, I think everything else in the color sucks except for Kecleon. Kecleon. Color change. As long as your Pokemon is an active Pokemon, ah, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, this Pokemon is the same type as your opponent's active Pokemon. And then it has a Tim attack, which I like. I love yeah. that. Choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. If this Pokemon has the necessary energy to use that attack, they use this attack. Um, mm. fuck you, Mewtwo, bitch. I like that. Uh. It's a basic. That's pretty much all I like about it. It's basic and it's not an EX. It's cool. It's like so the only thing I don't like about color change is that it doesn't take away the weakness. Yeah, that's true. Um, I like if it, if it said copy your opponent's weakness and resistance, also I would take that because then at least you could like. It would be a justifiable lead against like things like Landorus or whatever. You can at least start like just attacking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, but then again, why not? Why don't you just play Landorus? So. Two. Uh. <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, because Landorus is stupid and Kecleon is not. Duh. Winning. Yeah. Okay. I love Kecleon though. 
Yeah, I like it. I like it a um, lot. Back one card. Do you think milk tanks like ever drink their own milk? Uh, sure. Why not? Because like, I don't know. It. I I can't see drinking milk straight from the cow. It just seems like it'd just be like. Gross. You just you just lay on your tummy and then you squeeze your teats. <laughs> No, 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 you have to lay on your back. Yeah, yeah, you lay on your back, it's and like, then you have to do the rainbow shot. It's like Tub Girl with milk. Exactly. It's exactly like that. Okay. Nailed uh, it. Tornadus? Fucking nailed it. Tornadus? <laughs> tornadus. Okay. Here, okay, here's something about Tornadus EX that I've been hearing. It's really fucking good, apparently. I'm not seeing it, really. Okay, okay. Um... <laughs> It's not a bad lead. No. It's the not. only thing bad about it as a lead is that I think that Thunderous is going to be seeing like a super lot of play. Yeah, it will. Um, so even then, it's probably won't get one hit KO'd. Like the, no. your opponent would need like two Deoxys and a laser bank to get to 170. And it's, it has 180 HP, so... Yeah. I mean, that's... It's not hard to get like three Deoxys out turn one, uh, if you yeah. hit the Juniper. Uh, it is it is hard get, to get he, also the laser and the Verbank too. That's a but lot. But then again, if they get all that stuff, it doesn't matter what you lead with. Yeah, exactly. So um, the only thing I don't like is overcommitting all of that energy needed for Jet Blast to be effective. Yeah. Uh, so it, is it worth it for like a double colorless? And, like, say you manage to get two Plasma Energy. For 120? 120 for four? I mean, you could just be playing Lugia. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, so... I, th I think what it is is, like, that first attack is probably just really underrated. I mean, it's base it's it's good. I can see why it's good. Clefa... I, I can't see fitting it into a deck or, like, taking something out for it. I don't know. But there are players better than me, I'm sure, who love this card. I just I feel like overcommitting. There there's ways to get back plasma energy from the discard. Yeah. But not that quickly. That if it goes down, you can recuperate like right away. You could run thunderous tornadoes. I guess. <laughs> It's not impossible, but I just think that it's a little difficult. It's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Only time will tell, man. It's not, it's... Uh, I guess in the next <sighs> set, we're going to be getting Porygon Z. Um, right. Which, it's, it has the ability, uh, as often as you like, you can move Plasma Energy from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. So, that's pretty that's cool. That's cool, I guess. But even so, if you attack, you're going to be ending your turn. Yep. At least a little bit of vulnerability. Yep. Uh, it's okay, I'm playing Virizion Genesec next set anyways, I don't care. <laughs> Screw the world. Dude, Virizion's so good. Uh, anyways, back to the set that's actually out. Floatstone! Yeah. Are we up to Floatstone already? I don't yep. think so. Oh, it's yeah, the very next the card. Next um, you attach it, it's a tool, you attach it to your Pokemon, and now they don't have retreat cost. There you go, it's... You can no, see why that's good. It's a great card. Uh, yeah. I think people will... I, I think Tool Scrapper is a card that people want to play, but they can't always play because there's not enough space because there's just so many good cards that you have to make cuts somewhere. Yeah, and it's really and... not as key as it was in this last format with states and regionals. Because I don't... Um... <sighs> Garbodor is a thing. Garbodor is like it, it. It doesn't unless people start playing Garbodor again. If you all right, say so you're playing a Plasma Basics deck. Okay. Other than uh, Deoxys, which will be out way faster than Garbodor, what what abilities do you even need? Like really need to be able to start attacking and doing damage and stuff? Because Thunderous doesn't have an ability. Tornadus doesn't if you're going to use it. 
um, Kyurem's not even an EX, and it doesn't like have an ability, but still, it's you know. Yeah, you'll damage. get by just fine on off of energy acceleration. Just so I just Deoxys. I don't think Tool Scrapper is going to be a big problem in the format. So if you if you want to run your tools, do it. <laughs> yeah. Just just do it. It's like Nike. Exactly. Um, it it won't be a problem until people, if people start playing Garbodor or you know whatever. Um, a lot of people won't be playing Tool Scrapper right now. Yeah. Uh, next card is Frozen City. I like it. <sighs> Who doesn't? Because all right, it's it takes so it it kills the Laser Banks like it kills the the Verbank City gym. Yeah, it's probably. a counter stadium. Uh and then it just, just screw you, everybody. <laughs> That's all it does. Yeah. Because it, I mean, it, it shut down. It shuts down Blastoise because they can't power up without dying. Right. Uh, it it makes Ampharos completely invalid as a card, so you can't even play as a joke deck anymore because just, they just made it a fucking stadium. <laughs> uh, but then again, if you want to play Ampharos and Frozen City, it's just like lol shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you could potentially use it for your benefit and play it with the Outrage Dragons. Yeah, sure. Uh, the only thing is that uh, if Plasma, like the Plasma Pokemon are as big as I think they're going to be, uh, Colorus Machining and stuff, where they're going to be getting energy from things that aren't their hand, Yeah, uh, could be a problem. But I could see definitely playing it in your own Plasma decks. Sure. I guess so. Um, I mean, once you get Thunderous going, you won't, you'll be attaching from the discard, attaching from the deck with Colorless Machine. It could be fun. I mean, potentially Frozen City is going to get you more damage than Verbank will anyway. It won't get you so. sleeps, I guess. I mean, you can still play lasers, though. Yeah, you can still That's play lasers. That's actually really you, interesting. You could even play, like, like one, one Verbank and one Frozen and like your lasers and because some people like a lot of people only play one verbank now because everybody else is playing verbank so somebody's gonna get the verbank but yeah, that's really risky i i then, found my i found myself wanting to play like three stadiums i don't like three i i can't play three stadiums but if i were to play three stadiums it would definitely be like two verbanks in a frozen city or something the thing is it's so like right now it's so important to get it out quickly you want it like turn one really badly, so like playing three is not as weird as it used to be. Also, uh, Frozen City is a team plasma card, so it's searchable. Yep. Uh, the next card, Getus. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> it's Getus. Get us some cards, bitch. Not even that. It's I don't even consider it a draw supporter. You don't. I don't. That's weird. Okay, look, I think I, like, Get I think Gettys is really underrated. I don't. A lot. I think it's underrated. People like don't think it's amazing because I think it's just fucking amazing. I think it's really good. Like uh, I, I w if I were to like when I'm playing it in my deck, I will not organize it under my draw supporters though. I don't. Basically, my it's cards. going to say. Hey, do you have a catcher? No, you don't have a catcher. You don't have her candies. You don't have lasers. You don't have anything really. Mm -hmm. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it's just... yeah. It's gonna be. It's it's really cool because like, it, it just it's a disruptor card and a draw draw support at the same time. So that's really nice. So, but like, it's like one of those things where even if you only hit like two or three items. You're not even going to complain. Because yeah, because you still get to draw the, that amount of cards, and you just disrupted your opponent's strategy. Look, like it, it's it, it's worth. I wouldn't play a heavy amount. Two no, at no, most. I, two at most. Right. Yeah. Maybe I I might just play one in a deck if I feel cheeky. Well, if you want to play two, it's fine. It's searchable. Yeah. It's searchable. It's you can recover it with. Uh, the next card in, this, in the thing is Shadow Triad, which I think is really good, too. Yeah. Um, because Shadow Triad, while it looks like a just recovery card, I also consider it a search card. Sure, yeah. Because, uh, like, a lot of people are, like, playing Dowsing Machine over Computer Search now. Um, and 
Shadow Triad is just another card that lets you... It's pretty much search your anywhere for a Team Plasma card. Because <laughs> you're going to find your energies, your Team Plasma balls, your college, yeah. college machine. Does that count? Is that This is Plasma, right? Yeah, yeah probably. It pro- deaths. Okay. Uh, in the discard. And then get, you grab them back. So I can definitely see it. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I think as far as the supporter goes, it's kind of weak, but it's still a good card. It's definitely uh, worth consideration, I'd say. I'm not a huge fan of Team Plasma Badge. Uh, are you just going to r- just skip right past Superior Energy Retrieval? It's not even... Is it there? Yeah, it's right before Plasma Badge. Oh, okay, because I had my window tiled, and oh, okay. it, cut off, it cut off the first row. <laughs> Uh, superior energy retrieval, which fuck you for like <laughs> naming it that. It has the coolest name, superior. Uh, it's not super energy retrieval. It's fucking superior. But like we had super energy retrieval, we had but that already. Is, but this is a different card. But it's okay. <laughs> um. All right. So you discard two cards from your hand. Um. You can't play that card if you can't discard cards. And then you put four basic energies from your discard pile into your hand. Blastoise just got a whole lot better. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Thank you. Next card. Uh, things to note. <laughs> uh, you can discard cards without reclaiming cards if you don't have energy. Like, if you have no energy, you can discard cards if you want to, like, Bicycle or Bianca or something. Mm-hmm. Uh... And if you don't have energy, you can still play it. Uh, but you have to take the energy if you do play the card. So if you have yeah. four energy, you have to take the four energy. You can't choose, like, three. Yeah. So just be careful if you're playing it in a deck like Ooh. Eels or something. In the for last some sentence, you can't choose a card you discarded with this, the effect of this card. So you can't discard two energy cards and then go, okay, I'm going to get those two energy cards back along with these other two. Right. Interesting. Uh, so just be careful when you're playing it. Yep. There you go. Plasma Badge. Plasma Badge is a tool. If you attach it to a Pokemon, that Pokemon becomes a Team Plasma Pokemon. The thing I don't like about Plasma Badge is that I have to waste space on Plasma Badge. Otherwise, I think it's really good. Yeah, it, it all comes down to the space that puts me on the on yeah. the fence. Which is, is like, uh, really important. If right you now. think about it, you can get out a surprise Terrakion Retaliate or something, like, <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> but... Sure, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it you can actually find the space for it in most decks. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Team Plasma Ball. What is? You can't really say much about it. You it's search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon. It's awesome. It's just, just one for one, man. That's great. The only thing the is, like, thinner. yeah. The only thing is, like, uh, you 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 play a low count of it in the like Plasma dot deck because you want to discard energy. So Ultra Ball is like the superior ball in that deck, right? But it's yeah you can still play a low count and i still like that it's a card and it exists and it's it's good well i think um a few decks will be playing a high count because of deoxys getting deoxys quickly out to the bench um for like first turn like big damage with like thunderous or something yeah but you want to play ultra ball because you want to discard energy um I, yeah. i'm saying you want to mix the two it, you know you're right but you don't want to. It's you're probably going to most likely play a uh, heavier Ultra Ball line to discard energy, so you can start accelerating it. Unless people want to go with the, I'm just going to attack until I die, <laughs> and do as much fucking damage as possible, and then when this goes to the discard pile, then I'll have energy in there. Yeah, uh, there right. have been like decks that have been like just straight up like Deoxys Kiram, in which case Team Plasma Ball would be way better. Right. Yeah. I, I really like this Kyurem. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Uh, uh, reprint of Plasma Energy. So that's we can just skip right past that. Why couldn't they just make it be like... I don't know. I feel like four... is It angers me that you can only play four. Well... <laughs> but then again, if you think about it, if you had like eight, it'd just be so broken. Yeah, it would. 
<laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous. Uh, life do is just a thing. Yeah, you take one less, one fewer prize. It's an ice back, so it's, it's like not even worth it. It's like right. If it was like if it was like a regular tool and like you had to like discard a card when you played it or something or like I don't even know. Yeah, whatever. Or like give your opponent a prize and then your opponent takes no prizes when they KO the thing. I yeah. something something interesting that that makes it not an ace back. Yeah. All right, Rock Guard is the other ace spec. Um, it's basically Rocky Helmet, except for they take six damage instead of two. Thoughts? I think it's cute, but in the end, it's going to end up like Crystal Wall or Crystal Edge, where it's just not worth the ace spec spot. Here's what here's what you do. You wait until next set with the Sigilyph where you can attach four tools. <laughs> Fucking God. Rock that, guard, that, Rocky helmet, Rocky helmet, Rocky helmet. I'm sorry, did I just do 120 and not even do anything to you? Okay, I would probably do something <laughs> like, like rock guard, like Eevee light. No, there's there's got to be something better because Rocky helmets and rock guard. How, how no? How much HP does it have? It has like not a lot. Doesn't I'm it? It probably like, like 90. It it doesn't have enough where that would be worth it. <laughs> I don't know, you just did 120 for one prize. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> and now you get to come back and attack and win. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have to disagree a little bit. Okay, we're on to full arts now in the list. Um, let's see. Heatran. I think the other Heatran looks way sicker. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, Thunderous looks pretty cool. He looks kind of like Mario. Just weird. Again, maybe yeah, the regular yeah. looks way sicker. I don't know. Maybe when you hold it in your hand, it's like different. Cause I felt I, I that really... way. I, I forget what it was, but like something, I like I held it in my hand and I was like, "This is way cooler than I thought it would be." The thing I don't like about the EX is they, they look like uh, fingerprints, like the texture. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, bummer. But I I do like the Latias EX picture. Uh, yeah, Tiaxis is okay. Uh, Latias is my favorite. It's my favorite it's just... floor. I hope I get one. Oh, it's just so cool. For free from not cool my too. box. I hope I get one not in my box. There we go. Tornado Tornadoes is just like a cute little chicken. I love on. Tornadoes. I think he looks sick. Um, alright. Probably going to be like the most sought after card in the set is for Juniper. You're rolling right past and... Gettys. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Full Art Juniper. For Gettys. He's holding a <laughs> microphone, he's like, Yeah! If you right. thought if you full thought full juniper. Art, if you thought getting full art ends was driving you nuts, wait till juniper's out. I know, I'm gonna hate it. It's there um, uh, the second the secondary mart is like all over the place for juniper right now. Cause like uh people are like the fair price is gonna be like thirty to thirty five dollars for full art juniper right now. Uh because it's a four of in every deck, literally. So yeah, the the price is gonna be high and it's gonna probably stay high. But right now, with only like pre releases, I've seen people like pay like forty to fifty dollars for one juniper. It's crazy. Um, we have quite a few uh secret rares. Secret rares. Shiny Empoleon, yeah. I'm more looking at that ultra ball sitting there. Daddy like. I'm I'm gonna keep going. Shiny Siglith looks dope. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, shiny garb door is pretty cool. Uh, hey, hey, Garchomp, uh, Garchomp Altaria is gonna make a comeback, right? Uh, worst, <laughs> worst thing ever. Uh, okay, I, that was a reference. I, I, I like the uh, gold max potion. Honestly, I think that looks awesome. Golden shower. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, gold ultra ball is really cool too, though. I really like it. It's. Pretty. I like how they got the textures circulating out from the uh, center of the pokeball. Right. It's awesome. And then you got your uh, stamped Metagross from whatever. Which so yeah. Me. Like, uh, I, I'm looking forward to days when the EX things all shift out and we get back to like a, like a good... Well, with our luck, we'll like bring out like SPs and level Xs and stuff again and we're just going to hate our lives. But um, <laughs> Oh, man. I, it's funny because I'm going to uh, unintentionally plug the, the top cut and I think it was Pram who said it it's like 
they're keeping up with this trend where like the next set is like progressively better than the last and the cards just keep getting more and more good and then eventually like i was saying this and now I have to give credit to him because he said it and like more people have watched it. Uh, they're going to hit a brick wall where they can't just make everything better. And they're going to have to like go like, okay, no EX is in this set. There you go. It, it's so weird to think. And that set will bomb until like, you know, they all rotate out. Yeah, they've got to do it eventually. They, they First of all... Like, they're running it, out of legendaries. The crazy thing is, like, when and, like, how. Like, I can't conceive of, like, how that's... I guess you just, like... I don't know. I don't know. Because we've been rolling around in the filthy taint for so long that it will be hard to cleanse ourselves. Yeah. As it... you. I, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Exactly. Filthy taints, cleansing. Got it. Yeah, okay. Nail it. Um... <laughs> okay there you go no okay um, like it's weird because like how do you just stop you know what i mean i i definitely am ready like i it can just stop i like, think <laughs> if they want to make six sets next month and just throw away every other set <laughs> and make those six sets i'm and game all those six sets were like i'm so game for that like only like evolutionary things and like basic Pokemon were like okay but not like EXE I would be so good I think the way they have to do it is to make trainer cards that would just like overpower like stage 2s or something oh if they probably have like broken time space or something there you go that'll work that'll work okay you want to talk about some deck ideas for the new set okay Good. deck ideas for the new set speed B drill. I hate you Speed drill, if you will. Oh my god! We can get Amolga and B drills, and uh, you just fucking swarm. I hate <laughs> everything you stand for. <laughs> okay, what about Sableock? Like new Sableock, like like Sableye Garboder. Why? I don't know. Wait, the new Sableye? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I thought no. you were just talking about cards from this set. I was like, oh, what the fuck are oh, you no. talking about? No. <laughs> like, this one says you can't retreat. That's not good. No. But, like, you could use new cards, like, Life Do. No, just stop. Well, I mean, think about it. You can use Life Do with Sableye, and then attach it. You don't take a pride, but then you junk hunk get the Life Do back and just slap back on there. Yeah, that's and then you awesome. Garboder. Oh, yeah. I think it's bad. That's, yeah, well, yeah. it is. Well, that's, that's, uh, I think that's gonna be it, you guys. Yeah, um, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, at, at first when I saw the set, I was like, this is a set where you would not want to buy a box and you just want to get your singles. But upon further review, I would say it's definitely worth, um, it, it's probably worth a box. I have my box ordered already. Uh, the yep. only problem is that all of the cards you want are the cards that only come in, like, one a box. Yeah. So, uh, but the thing is, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the, like, eight trainers that you want. See, I here's what's going to happen. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to get lucky, yeah. and I'm going to pull... Yeah. Four Deoxys EXs and then uh, like three Float Stones, like Frozen City, four Getzes, and like, just, and like uh, not even in in three Kirims, and that's it. Okay. All the other packs are empty. <laughs> I would definitely get a box if not just for the um, the trainers and like the non super duper rare cards that could be good. And will be good, like Hurem, Absol, Chandler, stuff like that. Here, here's my problem, and I'll tell you what it is. The Deoxys and Thunderous is like the deck to have right now, or also Kiram. And like, if if you just bought one of each, like on the secondary market right now, that's already like ninety dollars, or like eighty, I need to, get my like 80 to ninety dollars. So you might as well just buy a box. Oh man, I'm not gonna have Plasma Freeze pack outs for a long time. I'm yeah. so mad. But, uh, sugar. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. 
Yeah, enjoy. And uh, we'll see you next set, I guess. Next set? Why not? That's going to be in a few months. Yeah. We might have to do like a Yu-Gi-Oh! review or something. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm game. <laughs> that card you, looks you dumb. I hate it. <laughs> this card's stupid. It only has 1,400 attack? What? What is that, that even? That, I don't even know what that means. That that can't two KO my my freaking EXs with fourteen. Wait, yes again. Oh crap! I, I hate it because like freaking like Yu Gi Oh cards can like twenty hit KO like Pokemon cards. Like twenty times over, you mean? No, it's just like inflation. Though. Yeah. Like, like Pokemon numbers are much like more concrete. grounded. Yeah, they're worth more. Yeah. So like like if you do like mock cut for forty or sixty, whatever it is, sixty. That's like five thousand attack in Yu Gi Oh. So that's like that's crazy. Let's talk in like real you. numbers, man. Uh, yeah, my tried... my Stardust Dragon Ultimate does a Googleplex damage. There you go, Googleplex. Game back. over. You're welcome. I like how Stardust Dragon is the only card he knows because it's called Stardust. Because everyone's like, "Hey, are you named after Yu Gi Oh?" Just... Um, no. Fuck that so, shit. Oh, also, also, if I ever find out the person that took Super Blonde Pokemon Showdown, I'm gonna cut your sack off and feed it to you. Yeah, motherfucker!